Hey, what's going on, guys? It's here with LogicalGamer.com. I haven't posted any videos in a while. Um, most of that is because I've been busy with other things, but I've got some spare time and decided I would make a new video. So I'm bringing my Logical Gamer server back online, and to do that, I have gotten a server through Zap Hosting. So previously in my videos, I showed you how to host it yourself, which is great and all, but there is some minor setbacks to hosting it yourself. So I gave Zap a shot and the server works great. I have not had any issues with it yet. Um, I'm actually very happy with the, the performance and the ease of use. So I figured I'd make some videos on how to set things up. To start, I figured I'd do ESX because everybody wants to use ESX uh, because it does offer a lot of things, especially for roleplay communities. Um, and it's not a difficult install, but people do have issues with it. And what Zap Hosting has done is made it one click. Well, more a couple of clicks, but it's pretty much clicks. You don't have to actually sit there and configure anything. You don't have to set up a database. You don't have to do all that stuff. All of it's done through here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it. I've already tested the server, and it works. So basically what you're going to do is go to Zap Hosting, log in, purchase a package, um, start off with the whatever one you feel comfortable with and then test it out and see how you like it. So what you're going to do is you'll be greeted with your page for the different game servers that you own. What you're going to want to do is click on the 5M server and you'll be greeted with this page. This tells you all the, st the, the, excuse me, the statistics for your server. It tells you the status of it, if it's online or not, it tells you your RAM, the players, the map, all of the different information that you could possibly need. Need. It tells you your statistics on the server as well for the CPU and all that. So what you're going to do now that you're in this page is scroll down until you see resources. Click on that. Once you click on that, you're going to be greeted with all of their one-click installations. And when I say that, that means that you don't have to do anything but click it and it will install it. Now you can always go FTP and actually change the server configuration files for these different plugins. But as far as getting them installed, it's one click. So currently you can see the server is offline and there is nothing installed. So what you're going to do is go, you, obviously it does need MySQL async to work, so you need to install this first. So you're going to go ahead and install that. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time, um, but it's way faster than doing it yourself. You'll be able to see the progress up here of what it's doing. There you go, so it's finishing up, so in a second it will say installed. Now, as you can see for ESX, you do need essential mode, and essential mode needs MySQL async. So you obviously have to install both of them. So now that this one's installed, you'll move down to Essentials mode and install that. There you go. It's going to go ahead and get started. Now another cool thing about Zaphost is you could, like I said, you could also FTP into the root files, and from there you'll be able to change all of the different things. So if you want to add um, custom cars like I've done in my videos which I will be making a new one because I know that the process has changed a little bit um, or if you want to add a different script you can always add it manually and I'll also make videos on that it's very easy so now we get to the final one that we want which is ESX so from here you just click the install and it's going to start the process Now this one might take a little bit longer than the other ones because it's a bigger resource but either way you don't have to do anything but sit here and watch the progress bar also if you guys are interested in getting your own 5m server through zap posting in the description I will place a link if you use that link I will get a little bit back and you also get 10% off of your server for life. So you save money, I get a little kickback, and everybody's happy. So if you do consider, after watching this video, getting a server through Zap, please click the link in the description.
right, so this is finishing up. And now this is going to refresh, and it's going to show that YesX is installed. Perfect. So now that that's set, all you need to do is go back up here and hit start. The server will start, and this might take a little longer than usual because you do have some new resources that are now installed. Alright, now that is started, so we are going to go back over to the video game. So now we are back in 5M. You can see it here, but that is also because I was previously testing it to make sure that this was working fine. So let's go back here. And this should populate shortly. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, send me an email if you have any questions. Support at LogicalGamer.com and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Um, like I said, I have been pretty busy, so if I don't get back with you instantly, please don't take it personally. Okay, come on here. It should load up. If not, we can use the direct connect. So, you know, 5M's server browser isn't always the best, so I did a direct connection and the server is up. So we're going to go ahead and make the connection. Now, as you can see, this server is still on the default loading screen because I have not installed any resources. Alright, and there you go. You see how quick it loaded? It loaded up nice and fast. You greeted with the ESX menu to create your new character. So that does show that ESX is installed and it's fully working. We joined without any errors or issues and everything's great. So you guys just witnessed what it take me. Probably three minutes to install that from having a server brand new purchased and then installing the ESX mod and getting the server up and running takes no time at all. It's very easy and there's no headache with having to do it yourself. So like I said, there it is. It's good to go. If you guys have any questions or there we go. If you have any questions or would like me to make a different video on how to do something with Zap hosting, please let me know. Like I said, I will also be making a couple more videos on how to add add-on cars and uh, different maps because you can add Y maps into GTA 5 5M as well so then you can have custom maps and custom uh, in-game content and that's also very easy and I'll show you how to do that well for now that's everything uh, that's that's about it have a great day and if you guys have any questions like I said please email me